welcome back to students we will continue with our topic so we have seen the inspirational story of maharani yashubai yes now let us see how raja ram maharaj lives for jinji you can find the jinji on a map of india fine raja ram maharaj lives for jinji on 5th april 1689 raja ram maharaj escaped from the besieged raigad with a few of his associates from the besieged raigad means what already it was uh, a siege was laid by whom by a uh, mughal emperor zulf uh, he had sent one person yes or no zulfikar khan so the siege was there and from that siege raja ram maharaj escaped okay with few of his associates with few of his close uh, close associates close friends or close marathas he decided to go turn your page he decided to go to south uh, to jinji okay yes he left for jinji then the jinji fort was invincible what do you mean by invincible invincible means too powerful very much powerful very powerful that it is very hard to be defeated so this jinji fort where he was going to take shelter that fort was very powerful that hardly anyone can defeat that fort okay nobody can destroy that fort that much it was powerful and that's why uh, uh, when the siege was laid on the raigad it was very necessary to take shelter at a very safe place and that's why raja aram maharaj left for jinji and this jinji fort was very powerful it was invincible hardly anyone can defeat it it was not an easy task for the moguls to capture this fort okay raja ram maharaj took his faithful sardars like prahlad niraji khando balal rupji bhosle and managed to reach jinji so these were his associates with whom he left for jinji the movements of the marathas it was difficult to defend the raigad fort against the might of the moguls yes we all know that if we see the strength and the army of the moguls moguls were very uh, huge number of army it had it had also qutub shah and adil shah kingdom they have captured and their own army so uh, all together if we see it was very difficult to fight against the might against the strength of the moguls yes or no so uh, to take uh, to prevent our raigad from such a huge fo uh, force of moguls it was really very difficult the moguls captured raigad in november 1689 and arrested maharani yasubai and sahu so at last they succeeded in capturing our raigad okay they had put a siege yes or no and then they uh, succeeded in november 1689 and thus maharani yasubai and sahu okay the wife of sambhaji maharaj and son of sambhaji maharaj they were arrested because raja ram maharaj and his family had already escaped and went to jinji while going to jinji raja ram maharaj had assigned the duty to fight against the moguls to ramchandra pant amatya and shankar ji narayan sachiv santaji ghorpade and dhana ji jadav so all these people were given the duty to fight against the moguls when raja ram maharaj was leaving for jinji okay from the maratha point of view the situation was critical if we see from the point of view of marathas the situation was really very critical because moguls had a large huge amount of army and even they had succeeded in capturing raigad so the situation was very critical aurangzeb had enticed many maratha sardars to his side by giving them watans and jagirs uh, on top of that aurangzeb was doing very uh, very shameless things he was trying to attract our maratha army our maratha sard sardars by offering them you know some watans and jagirs he he was giving them the lalaj greediness of watans okay that the, he was for he was asking the maratha sardars he was attracting them that if you come to our uh, uh, if you joined our mughal territory then i will give you such and such jagir such and such watans will be given to you so they were you know trying to attract entice means what attract by giving some uh, you know good things like jagirs or watans Raja Ram Maharaj also used the same tactics to thwart 
the mughals plan even then raja ram maharaj also started using the same tactics which the aurangzeb was using and he uh, you know so that we can thwart the mughals plan uh, thwart means what prevent the uh, plans from happening whatever were the mughal plans to prevent them from accomplishing from succeeding that is called as thwart it was promised that if a maratha sardar captured mughal territory it it would be given to him as a jagir so now what happened uh, this um, raja ram maharaj he promised to the maratha sardar that if you are you know capturing mughal territory then the captured mughal territory will be given as a gift as a jagir to the person who will be capturing that okay so same tactics were used by our um, sardar that is our rajaram maharaj also due to this promise many capable maratha sardars came forward so as rajaram maharaj promised them of for giving the jagir conquered by them then many maratha sardars came forward and they started invading the mughal territory with vigor and defeated mughal generals so many maratha brave sardars came forward and started invading mughal uh, territory yes or no because maharaj promised that the one who will capture the Mar- mughal territory will be given as a jagir to the person okay so that's why uh, they with with all their vigor they defeated the mughal generals santaji and dhanaji were at the forefront in these actions so who were the brave sardars who came forward the santaji and dhanaji they were forefront in these actions they were wo aage the okay against their surprise attacks and guerrilla cat tactics the enormous amount of war material and heavy art- artillery of the mughals were of little use so the tactics with guerrilla tactics means these are the type of taxi tactics used so that we can you know defeat the opposite party okay and uh, surprise attacks were made on the mughal territory and uh, such attacks and such guerrilla tactics forced the mughal emperor they could not they were they were in such a huge amounts yes or no this mughal empire was in a huge amount but still and they were having heavy artillery big big guns they were having artillery means what big guns but still they were of little use in front of the surprise attacks and guerrilla tactics applied by whom applied by our maratha sardars the mughal forces were at their wits end means after the uh, after these uh, santaji and dhanaji they used their surprise attacks and guerrilla tactics soon their intelligence came to an end okay whose intelligence the mughal forces their intelligence their wits means what intelligence came to an end on one occasion santaji ghorpade and vithoji chavan even cut and carried away the golden pinnacle of the emperor's own tent in a surprise attack so uh, not only this but one day what happened uh, one in the one occasion the santaji ghorpade and vithoji chavan they even cut and carried away the golden pinnacle pinnacle means what peak okay jo upar ka peak rehta hai na the uh, pointed peak is there no yes they uh, they even cut and carried away the golden pinnacle of the emperor's own tent aurangzeb ka jo tent tha uske upar jo peak tha okay so they uh, cut it that and just to ran away by taking this carried away this golden pinnacle of the emperor's own tent in a surprise attack okay this was our great maratha sardars who did that fine i will continue in the next session bye for now take care and have a nice day